Hi, I'm Letitia SD and you're watching the weekly hip hop newscast. Lil Wayne and Ja Rule were both arrested last weekend in Manhattan for possession of handguns. After both had performed at Lil Wayne's first concert in New York, Ja Rule was pulled over for speeding and an hour later Lil Wayne was caught smoking weed in the streets. They were released on bail on Monday but if found guilty could face up to four years in jail. On Tuesday, Tony Ayo rejected an offer of nine months in jail in exchange for pleading guilty to slapping and punching 14-year-old son of Tsar CEO Jimmy Enchman. The trial will continue on September the 6th. <laughs> Afini Shakur is trying to stop Suge Knight's death row from putting out an album of unreleased two-pack tracks. Suge filed for bankruptcy in April last year after running up debts of over $100 million. Afini claims that the tracks are part of the two-pack estate. <laughs> A seven-year-old boy in Florida swallowed the grill his mum bought him. Three days later, doctors are still waiting for him to <laughs> it out. The biggest problem, however, seems to be how no one appears to have yet asked the mother why. <laughs> it was announced on Saturday that Twister's been thrown off a 10 seat McDonald's live tour in USA because of his controversial lyrics. Surely they already knew about his lyrical content before they booked him. <laughs> Jay-Z has paid wrestler Diamond Dallas Page an undisclosed sum for infringing on his trademark diamond cutter hand signal. Apparently, the settlement will allow Jay's signature Rockefeller hand signal to continue being used. <laughs> On Tuesday, Jay-Z's girl Beyonce took a nasty drop down some stage stairs while performing Ring the Alarm at a concert in Orlando. It looked like her face hit the stairs and her left leg hit the back of her head. ultimate professional that she is, Beyonce got straight up and continued the track, then pleaded, please don't put this on YouTube. 1520 Cedric Avenue, the said birthplace of hip-hop in the Bronx, where Cool Herc first started putting on parties as a DJ, is under threat of being rebuilt. Tenants are now rallying alongside Herc to recognise the building as a national landmark. Young Buck held a brave face after he was burned on Nick Cannon's Wild and Out MC Battle Round. No, you ain't winning. I got your girl like your chain. She's spinning. I really want to teach. You can't joke on me with green beans on your feet. Okay. To come up with that last rhyme, it took a lot of time. Too bad 50 ain't here to write your lines. Wow. It's cool. I thought you was a Don. I ain't rapping. I'm Christina Milan. <laughs> Hey, yo, Buck, I heard you getting cheese in the cell, but I think you as cheap as the teeth in your mouth. I would say something, but your breath stinks. Who is you, a imitation bank? I ain't gonna say nothing that's gonna get me shot, but Buck, if you bit me, I need a tetanus shot. Wow. Having already released a video for Can't Tell Me Nothing, Kanye West has sought the lip-syncing talents of comedian Zach Galifianakis to star in a second version. Shot on Zach's farm, the video doesn't feature Kanye once, and some people are calling it the greatest music video ever. You may think this is a spoof, but Kanye actually paid for this to be made. Somebody please contact us with the relevance. Thanks to Narite.com for pointing out Zach has already been used for a similar concept. I am not in love. Kanye West finally responded to Beanie Siegel's accusations of him being gay on Angie Martinez's Hot 97 show, describing the comments as so disrespectful. Meanwhile, a smack video has surfaced of PD Crack freestyling titled Beanie Siegel is gay. See what you think. In the new issue of King, Siegel claims to have not seen the video and suggests it may be an imitation, fake, or using special effects. Rumours are circulating that Joe Budden has called out Cassidy to a $50,000 battle on Fight Club. In fact, Joe Budden has apparently laid the gauntlet down to all rappers, saying he'll battle anyone for the 50k. And if I didn't have to put up a penny, hell, so would I. 
And finally, one of the biggest annual hip hop events, VH1's Hip Hop Honours, has teamed up with Questlove from The Roots to run an online competition to produce the official soundtrack for the show. Producers must submit a 60 second beat to the score.vh1.com. You can keep up to date daily with all the news and gossip on jumpoff.tv. Please leave comments below or on slash newscast. If you have comments just for me, go to jumpoff.tv slash Letitia SD. If you have any news in your area on any element of hip hop, please email news at jumpoff.tv. I'm Letitia SD and that was this week's newscast. Run an online competition to produce the official soundtrack for the show. <laughs> <laughs> Produce, produce. Ah. Hmm. All right. Chuck filed for, di filed for divorce. <laughs> <laughs> he filed for divorce <clears throat> after running up debt of over one hundred million dollars. <laughs> it's not my fault. Trademark diamond cutter hand single sig signal page and undisclosed sum for it. Oh, yeah. oh. Diamond Dallas Page, an undisclosed sum for infringing on his trademark diamond car hand signal. <laughs> <laughs> Rockefeller hand signal to continue being used. I can't say all that. Oh, <laughs> Kanye West finally responded to Beanie Seagull's Seagull. Oh, Seagull cl claimed. <laughs> 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 Seagull claimed. 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 Seagull claimed.